Today we've come to Corby here in Northamptonshire, the tube making site that's part of Tata Steel UK. We've come to see the latest progress on the new combination mill they're putting in here, which is part of their £30 million project Aurora. I'm joined by Nigel Chudley. Nigel is the uh, project manager for Aurora. Nigel, there's lots going on around the site as part of the project, but a combination mill has come to a critical stage. Tell us where we're at with it. Tim, it's pretty amazing to be in this position. We've completed the civil works uh, about two weeks ago and we're now in the phase where we're starting to commence the electrical and mechanical installation. Yeah, because we came in a few months ago and this place was like a construction site. There were big holes in the ground, there were diggers everywhere and you were showing me a time lapse earlier which shows the different levels of activity that have been going on here because today we stand here, it just looks like a concrete floor. Tell us a bit about what's underneath our feet. So Tim, I think you're right to remember the work that we've done. We've spent about 26 weeks with the civil programme. We've installed over 4,500 tonnes of concrete. We've installed approximately four kilometres of ductwork. And the fruits of the hard labour from the MPB team and the Tartar team are in front of us. And in four weeks' time, we'll pretty much forget about this activity because we'll all be focusing on the equipment and the devices around us. So yeah, really chuffed to be in this position. Yeah, and we want to talk to some of those uh, contractor partners later because I know you've been you know, full of praise for them and there's a long way to go still for some of them. But as you say, behind us here, some of the kit has started arriving. Now tell us where that come from and, and what's been the process of that development of that kit and what state is it arriving in? Yeah, sure. If we go back over two years, Tim, we effectively made the contract with Mayer for the supply of this mill. And here we are now, 20, 21 months later, with the equipment arriving at Corby. There's over 700 tonnes of equipment that has been assembled in Schio, which is in Italy, uh, just about an hour's drive north of Venice. And we have the installation team from Mayer with us. And those guys are supervising our chosen contractor, Rapid Response Solutions, who have taken over this site and what you see behind us is effectively that work ongoing. Yeah, and you were telling us earlier, Nigel, that rather than just asking Mayer to, to build the kits and ship it over, you've kind of got them to test, test run it in Italy before it ships, is that right? Yeah, what we did, we spent an awful lot of time working with Mayer to do as much of the testing of the equipment and assembly in the workshop conditions. It certainly improves the risk uh, profile for Tata because it massively reduces its risks and it also gives us a high degree of certainty that when the equipment is installed it should be relatively straightforward to commission. Yeah and it's fascinating and I know there's only a few bits of kit arrived so far but it is fascinating because lots of them have got these these bolts in the bottom or holes in the bottom and as we walk down the floor you see lots of studs coming out of the ground and empty pipes. It's going to be like a Meccano kit isn't it Nigel? And that's exactly what it is. It is a really expensive Meccano set and the guys, both the Tartar guys, the Mayer guys and the installers RRS are absolutely confident we can build the model correctly and it will look like what it is designed to be and it will deliver the performance that our commercial teams require from it. Yeah, so we're talking now and it's approaching the beginning of June. When do you think this thing's going to be up and running by? So I'm hopeful that towards Q2 of this financial year, we will be making tubes on this mill. So around the September, October time, I will hopefully have a demonstrated equipment capability. Got a long way to go, Tim, and we've got a tight programme. But at this point in time, we're confident that we should be delivering tubes second quarter of the financial year. Yeah, and finally, I think it's worth mentioning to the people watching and listening about the site of this mill, because in the distance, we can't quite see it from here, is the new warehouse. And, and behind you is the end of the six inch mill, which is staying. So in terms of lean processing, this is gonna be pretty much tied up, isn't it? Yeah, we've, we've absolutely smashed the principle of flow out of the park on this project. The product will arrive at the west end of the building uh, to make the tubes, and the product will be dispatched to the customer at the very east end of the building. And you're right, the process steps of the mill and then the warehouse to my right and then the dispatch all under one roof. Fantastic opportunity for Tata to improve its flow. Yeah, and that's going to have some of our branded products going through the line as well. I know we're going to talk to the commercial people later, but uh, what sort of sense of pride will the people of Corby have 
in this, which is must be one of the first new mills that the company's built in the UK for decades. There must be a great sense of pride in the workforce. Certainly my team and I are absolutely delighted to be in this position. It is a great news story for Corby. It cements the future for tube making on the Corby site with equipment that is world class and for the next 25, 30 years, if we look after the equipment, Tim, this mill will serve Corby and Northamptonshire well. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks for bringing us around, Nigel. We're going to go and talk to some of the contractors, and I know you've got them on a tight leash uh, in terms of time and quality and safety, and good on you for that. Listen, thanks for bringing us down. We'll definitely come back and see how it, how it all goes as we go forward. More than welcome, Tim. Thank you so much. Nice one. Thank Top you, Nigel.